My name is Ismail. My original name before I was Muslim uh, is Louis. Um, I'm 25 years old. Ismail, شاب موسيقي يعيش في لندن. أسلم قبل ثلاث سنوات. تعالوا نتعرف على قصته مع القرآن وكيف فضله على الموسيقى والألحان. بفضل من الله سبحانه وتعالى وصلنا إلى هذا المنزل في في لندن في بريطانيا مع أخونا الغالي لوي ويحب أن نناديه بإسماعيل أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يحفظه ويبارك فيه إسماعيل قبل كل شيء يا غالي أخونا أريد أن أعرف قبل الإسلام حياة إسماعيل قبل الإسلام وما هي الديانة التي كنت تعتنقها وكيف كنت تقرأ عنها وتهتم فيها Firstly uh, my first religion before Islam, I would say, is music. Mm. It's the way wow. of life of the musician. This was my first religion. Uh, music, for many people in the West and in the world, um, is, is like a god. It's a, it's a illa. And this was my, my god before uh, Islam. Um, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved me from that. Um, and the religion of my mother um, was Judaism. Mm. So that was m my culture. Uh, I used to go to the synagogue mm. on some weekends. I had a bar mitzvah mm. when I was 13. Um, I had the cultural, the traditional festivals. I used to, I used to attend um, the Jewish festivals. <laughs> specific time um, when I watched, I actually watched a documentary um, on the BBC called The Secret Life of Chaos. In this documentary, um, it, was, it was about how things come together, mm. well this is what they said, how things came together from chaos um, to create order. Mm. For example, in the, in the universe, stars, things that we have uh, in nature, mm. There's, there seems to be patterns in everything that, that um, are the same but I disregarded that when I was watching it I just looked at um, what they were showing me and I, I just saw it as amazing and this for me it, it confirmed that there had to be a creator behind this because there was perfect order in, in the creation of the, the universe okay. this was the first the first um, step um, the second was a brother gave me uh, English translation of the Quran mm. about uh, maybe a year or Two years before I even picked it up, I left it on my shelf. But it was in a, a particular time in my life where I was, I was not feeling very um, happy. I had a lot of success in the music industry. Uh, it, I was becoming more successful, but the more success that came, the more problems came and the more unhappy I was. I just saw the Quran, the English translation, and I decided to just pick it up. And I opened it, started reading from Surah Al-Fatiha. Um, and to Surah Al-Baqarah and it was very, uh, the effect was very strong. The, the words hit me straight away, particularly in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah um, verse number 11 and verse number 12. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta talks about those who uh, are the mischief makers in the land but they themselves, they say we are but the peacemakers mm. but Allah knows that they are the mischief makers um, and I was around a lot of these kind of people previous to Islam in the music industry they, they, they show you or they try and show you that they want the best for you but all they want is the money and the fame and the success Before I opened the Mus'haf um, I felt very um, like the weight of the world on my shoulders a lot of pressure, a tight head, tight chest just from a lot of stress um, and literally, when I start, started reading, I just felt light. I felt like it was just lifting. Um, it was ajeeb. It was very uh, amazing, subhanAllah. And this was just the, the English translation. This was the first time I, I started reading the Qur'an. The Qur'an became like my companion. I used to take it everywhere with me. Did you take the Qur'an before Islam? No, the English translation. No. I wanted to understand. MashaAllah. So I used to take it with me on the bus. تمسك بالقرآن قبل إسلامه لأنه شعر بهداية هذا النور المبين 
وانشرح صدره للإسلام وقرر أن ينطق الشهادة فتوجه إلى أقرب مسجد من مسكنه And there were some brothers outside the masjid and I just literally uh, approached them and I said I want to become Muslim so alhamdulillah they looked a bit shocked you know I, I looked a bit different then um, alhamdulillah they welcomed me in we went upstairs and um, they went through the uh, conditions of the shahada um, and I agreed and I took shahada alhamdulillah as soon as I took shahada it, feel, it felt like uh, the world was lifted from my shoulders. All the problems I had from before with people, I just, I felt, um, I just didn't feel, feel it was a problem anymore. Uh, I don't know what I've done to deserve the guidance of Allah, um, but Alhamdulillah, he, he, he guided me. Um, and I have to just, I can never be, none of us can ever be grateful enough for that. I just hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps me firm upon the deen until, until I die. واتقوا الله واعلموا أنكم ملاقوه وبشر المؤمنين ولا تجعلوا الله عرضة لأيمانكم أن تبروا وتتقوا وتصلحوا بين الناس بعد الإسلام كيف أصبحت علاقتك مع القرآن؟ الحمد لله I read the Quran um, every day The Quran for me is I need the Quran it's an addiction for me. I have to have it to feel, for my heart to feel at rest. So Alhamdulillah, before I used to play music to try and feel at peace. But this feeling from playing music is, is, um, is an illusion. It's not real. It's, um, it's a distraction from the remembrance, remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Music is very attractive when you hear music it can be very attractive to, to it can go straight to the heart mm -hmm. a very powerful tool of the shaitan in this in this venue um, uh, I played my first performance here I think when I was around uh, possibly 18 or 19 and throughout the years before I became Muslim um, we, we played more and more shows in this venue and we became more and more popular here and wallahi this place alhamdulillah allah saved me from from this from this lifestyle this is the story of uh, this this club take it from me I'm, i i lived that life and it's nothing but fitna if you become successful it's more fitna so i had to choose between music and islam the two don't mix yes yes you know? yes i think ibn al qayyim rahimullah said the love of Quran and the love of music, they don't mix in the, in the heart. Allah is Alhamdulillah, um, it's, it's a different world. Uh, you see through different glasses. Uh, before Islam, it's, it's the glasses of dunya. Uh, when I took Shahada, it was a different, I saw things very differently. It's literally um, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the cover of your heart, you know, the kufr oh. out of my heart, I see, I saw things very differently. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِنْ رَبِّهِ سُبْحَانَ الله no doubt there's been tests, definitely, since I've been Muslim because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that you can't say you, you just believe and you will not be tested, you know, you'll be tested in, in everything, within, you'll be tested within yourself, everything, family. كيف أصبحت ردة فعلهم؟ نعم. Um, at first, uh, it was very uh, big problem. Mm. It was a very big problem with my mother, um, particularly, being from a Jewish background. She mm. she cried. I told her. Um, she cried like her son had died, basically. Mm. Um, 
Alhamdulillah, my parents, they have been excellent parents. Very kind, raised me very well, Alhamdulillah. Um, but with regards to me being Muslim, they were not happy, especially my mother. But Alhamdulillah, now um, I'm married. We have little uh, Ibrahim, my, my son. Um, it's, it's made it easier now, you know, Alhamdulillah. ولكن بعد أن أسلمت ما هي الآيات التي أثرت فيك وما هي الآية التي أصبحت عندك نبراس أصبحت عندك شعار في حياتك لا تنساه أبدا نعم سورة الحديد verse number 20 how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the life of this world is a deception you know and for me before Islam my life was and a lot of my, my companions, a lot of my friends, our life was based around just living in a bubble, in a, in, a, in, a, in a deception, literally. That's what the music business is, the music industry, going to clubs, going to raves, um, parties, always the next thing, the next thing, the next high. Um, so this Surah Al Hadid, verse number 20, this, this sums it up. This is just a deception. And it, and, um, and it will fade away, you know. هي شعار لإسماعيل وهي شعار لنا كلنا وهي رسالة لكل شخص أصبحت الحياة هي همة في هذه الآية كأن الله سبحانه وتعالى يوهين هذه الدنيا ويبين أن هذه الدنيا متاعها متاع الغرور يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى اعلموا أنما الحياة الدنيا لعب وله وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد ثم ضرب الله سبحانه وتعالى المثل قال كمثل غيث أي المطر أعجب الكفار أي الزراع نباته قال ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يكون حطاما تحطم هذا الزرع وانتهى هذا الزرع وتدمر هذا الزرع هذه هي الحياة الدنيا Just know that outside of Islam there's nothing there's nothing for you outside of Islam Alhamdulillah Allah has showed me the two ways of life, the before Islam and Alhamdulillah now in Islam. So I've tasted the the dunya, the jahil lifestyle, and I've tasted iman, and iman is very very precious. My wish is to be able to study Islam in uh, one of the Arab countries, inshallah. Specifically Medina, I would love to study Islam in Medina, in Jama'a Islamiyah and inshallah the knowledge that I will inshallah benefit from and that I acquire, I, will, I hope to teach my family, my friends, people from, from my community about the authentic teachings of Islam.